Hello there and welcome to How Do, your go-to source for all things tech. In today's video, we'll be diving into the fascinating world of open source LLMs, specifically by teaching you how to install LM Studio on your computer. LM Studio is a powerful tool that allows users to run these complex machine learning models with ease, right from their own computers. So buckle up and get ready to learn everything you need to know about installing and running LM Studio. Let's dive in. All right, so that was a little example of what you can do with LM Studio. Uh, I'm running the Dolphin 2.5 mixed role, mixture of experts model that was fine tuned by Eric Hartford to be uncensored. And so what I'm gonna do today is teach you how to install LM Studio. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to head over to lmstudio.ai and download the appropriate software for our operating system. So I'm using Windows. This also works for Mac and my next is Embedda. This tutorial will be primarily focused on Windows, but should work just as easily for Mac and you can go ahead and try with Lynx. So here we go, we'll download. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and run the setup. Okay, and just like that, you have it installed. Next thing we want to do is we want to get a model. So Mistral just released their mixture of experts model, which is reaching close to GPT 3.5 level performance, and I think exceeding on a few evals, though the usefulness of evals is questionable. Definitely in my experience, it uh, does a good job, and in certain places, uh, definitely does match or exceed GPT 3.5 performance. After that was released, Eric Hartford, who has been doing a great service by uh, providing uncensored models, did the same with fine tuning the Mixtral Extra of Experts model using an updated version of the Dolphin dataset, which had some changes. And what this does is it removed all instances where the model refuses to obliged to a request. So this model can do many things that you cannot do with uh, GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 or other models that will refuse certain requests. Um, but as such, of course, be responsible in your use of it and make sure you're not doing anything nefarious that's harming anybody. But you can also get, get rid of those annoying refusals for maybe a crude joke or trying to write some fan fiction. So we'll say here, we're gonna look up Dolphin 2.5. And this is just, this um, city is great. This makes it so easy. You can look everything up right here in the app and then just download it. So you'll want to find the appropriate model for your system and that you can even run it. So you can go ahead and look up this model. These are all on Hugging Face. So we'll go ahead and, and take a look at the model card here and we can see exactly what we're going to need on our system in order to be able to run this. So we'll also take a look at this later. This is how you're going to set up LM Studio in order to work properly with this model. So each model will be a little different. And uh, most of the time you can find the, prop, the prompt template here on the model page. So what we're doing today is we're using the versions of this that have been created by the Baloke, who is also in quite a great service to the open source LLM community by providing compressed versions of uh, a lot of these models that just make it possible to run them on machines that don't have quite as capable hardware. You don't need a uh, an A100 to run these models after converting them into these different formats. So if we scroll down here, you can see exactly what each one of these models require as far as uh, memory. So LM Studio allows you to split the model between your GPU and your CPU. So you can look, take a look here and you can see, okay, what is the max that it requires? For me, I'm able to run the 5M model because I have 32 gigabytes of system RAM and then I have 24 gigabytes of VRAM on my GPU. I could even likely run the Q6 model, but you start getting a trade-off of, is it really worth that small improvement in quality for a uh, much slower generation? So uh, I'm actually, in this video, I'm gonna be using the Q4 model as it's hardly noticeable, the difference in quality, and it runs much, much quicker. I get more tokens per second using that. So decide what's appropriate. 
and we'll head back to LM Studio. And you can also see these models are a little bit darker there, the recommended one, so sort of the best balance. Basically, what you need to do is you need to take a look over here and you need to see, okay, between your system RAM and your VRAM and what you're going to need left over to run the basic processes on your computer, can you fit the size of the model? And if you can, go ahead and download it. So you'll click download. As you can see, how hard you got it downloaded. And then once it is downloaded, you'll head over and click this little chat bubble icon, and that allows you to head into the chat. And what you can do here is you can set different presets. You can see that there are presets. So, you know, for certain models, there will already be built-in presets that you can use. But at least as of recording this video, and there was not a preset for the Dolphin Mixture of Experts, so I've created it. I've added a system prompt that is recommended on the page uh, that just really um, obliges the model to obey all requests. I've also set up a few changes in the inference parameters, just trying to reduce the repeated tokens. And then I've set up the prompt format here. And this is, as I was saying earlier, in each model, there'll be a prompt template. Um, and this is not always provided, but usually it is provided on the model card. And then you can just take this and then build it in to LM Studio. So you can see, okay, here's what I'm going to have as far as how it needs to be laid out. And then in LM Studio, you need to just break that up in between these different sections of the system message prefix and suffix and user message prefix and suffix and the suffix you can say I'm including both what needs to be at the end of the user message and what needs to be before the assistant. Um, but I'll provide a link to this preset that I've created. And all that you will need to adjust is this value here, which is the number of GPU layers that you're going to offload. Um, and so this is how you can split the model between your system RAM and your GPU's VRAM. Um, and so this model has 32 layers. You can see here in the model in inspector uh, the different all the information about the model, but you can see here the num layers, number of layers is 32. So basically you think about, okay, this model is 32 gigabytes, or I guess I'm using the Q4. So this is, uh, let's take a look back here at the models. It's 26 gigabytes, right? Okay, so I've got 24 gigabytes of VRAM, um, and so on. If we have 32 letters, we're dividing 26 gigabytes up by 32 layers. How much of, of that can I fit on my GPU? I'm doing 24 layers. I could probably fit a few more layers, but I'm sticking with 24, and then the rest is being uh, loaded onto my system RAM. And that's pretty much it. And then you just go ahead and you, you chat. So I'm going to load up the model here. Okay, and we got loaded up. So let me go ahead and delete this message from earlier. And now let's, uh, let's try to close it. Oh, so I got a typo there earlier, fix that. Okay, and let's see the closer rights. Take a second to begin its first generation, but usually once it starts this first one, it'll, uh, Keep the same speed throughout. In conclusion, installing LLM Studio is an easy and accessible way for you to run open source LLMs on your computer. We hope that this tutorial from How Do YouTube Channel has been helpful in guiding you through the process of installing LLM Studio on your computer. Remember, with the right tools like LLM Studio, anyone can harness the power of open source LLMs and unlock new possibilities for their computer needs. Happy experimenting with LLM Studio. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy and uh, have fun responsibly.